Hi, welcome to the video today. This is Pat Stack with Siler Instrument, and today we're going to go through Spectre Precision Layout Pro. So, first thing I'm going to do is create a new job, and we'll call this building. And what I want to do is browse to a CAD file so that we can start setting some points that we're going to uh, stake out in the field. So typically, you're going to get a CAD file that looks something like this. And one of the new features of the latest version of Layout Pro is that it supports 2019 and 2020 drawing and DXF files. So you're going to have something that, that starts like this. And first thing you're going to want to do is turn, turn off some of this stuff that, that's confusing. I've already gone through this drawing. So first thing I'm going to do is turn everything off except for the end building layer. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to CAD file and create points from CAD file. So there's a couple of different options here. Selection type, I could just select this whole thing and in a window and set points on every intersection, every midpoint, every corner. But I don't want to do that because in this case, there's these doors are on the same layer and I would get every point on every corner of, of this door, even the swing there. I don't want that. So for me, I prefer to go through this thing one at a time. And I, that also gives me the control to um, give it what point numbers I want and what description I want. So for the description on all these points, I'm going to call these building corner. layer office points, but I could set my points on any layer that I want to. So what I want to do too is I want to make sure that I don't tag midpoints. I only want the corners that I'm going to go ahead and stake out. <clears throat> so here I go. I'm going to go ahead and add points. and just start tagging. So, and I can go, go around the whole building. If I wanted to um, create offset points so that, so that I'm not, um, if, if I'm out there staking out and I start digging my, my hole, well, I want points that are offset. So I can do from a line and my point is going, going to go from point number one to point number six. And if you think about the direction there, it's going to go left. And I'm going to say, I want five foot offset. And create. It automatically creates all the, offs all the points that are uh, along that line offset five feet. So I can do that same thing around the around the entire building, and uh, have all the points ready to go, ready to go for the field. <clears throat> so, so now that I've got the points all set, including all my offset points, I can go ahead and save my file, and I also want to export the job. So in this case, I'm going to a Ranger 7 with Layout Pro Field on it. So I'm going to hit Browse. <clears throat> and now it's going to be an LPJ file, Layout Pro Job, where the Office file is an LPO file. The Office, the office uh, file. So I'm going to go ahead and go to a new folder. And I'm going to call this Building. So it's going to export the, the uh, building LPJ. So I'm going to go ahead and save it there. This is on my thumb drive. And do I want to include the CAD file? Yes. So now the thumb drive is going to have everything I need on it to to 
to uh, throw into the collector. So it's got the LPJ, the LMP, and the DXF. And by the way, if you're not seeing these, these file extensions, you can go to View and check these two boxes here. So now I'm ready to pull that thumb drive and put it into the collector, copy it into the Layout Jobs folder, and uh, open it up. So now on the collector, you can browse to your, your um, thumb drive, grab those three files, press and hold, and hit copy, and then you're going to put those into your layout jobs folder on the collector just by pressing and holding and hitting paste and there's my my jobs so now I can go into um, change job within layout pro and my building LPJ should be there select that Hit the green check, and there's my points ready to go. Hit OK, and now I should be ready to go stake them out. Thanks for watching.